So we just docked the boat on the side of Dickman's Point, and we are here with Nautical Life Shell Tours, and it is a super low tide, as you guys can see. Usually this is completely covered with water, but as you guys can see, it's almost like we're walking on water because it is so low. And that is Marco over there, the south end of Marco Island beautiful Marco Island. That is where I grew up, for those of you who may not know that. And we are going to go and see what we can find. I'm super excited to explore. We always kind of look out at the ocean and think, you know, well, what happens if we could walk right out there and see? And we have the opportunity to do that today. So um, I've got my phone covered, so hopefully the wind won't be too bad for you guys. I've got a microphone, and then I've got my phone covered, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, so big thanks to Nautical Life for bringing us out here today. It is a beautiful afternoon, and uh, we left um, from Caxambas Park here on Marco at the south end, um, which is a cute little um, boat dock. And we are going to, ooh, look what we got here. We have a beautiful little Florida orange star. Look how pretty. Wow, what a little chunk of a starfish. You guys see his little chunky arms? So Florida orange uh, starfish are, are, you know, they're orange, but they've got that kind of lavender color behind. I'll flip them over so you guys can see his little feet on the bottom oh I just love that that's a nice thing about having a super low tide is uh, hopefully we'll see a lot of live sea life here so we're gonna see what we can find out here oh look over here this is gonna be such a fun day for some sea life look at this big beautiful whelk a live whelk you guys can kind of see the, the mollusk, which is the animal inside, which is the black part poking out that you can see. What a beautiful shell. He's kind of turning himself around there. Wow, super pretty. And I don't know if you can see his track coming up this way. There's two little lines. And hopefully you guys will be able to see that. It's kind of cool to see their little uh, shell tracks. And we're going to continue on and see what else we can find. It's just so awesome to be here. It's another reason why I just love coming on shell tours. You just never know what you're going to see and what you're going to find and how the tides are going to be. I tell people all the time, it depends on the weather, it depends on the tides. Ooh, look how big this one is, you guys. Wow. Look how fun. Look at the points on that big whelk. You can see the animal there. They're a little bit slimy. And they're kind of suctioned to the ground. But I want to show you guys what they look like. And you can see the operculum right there. So that's the trap door. And he's going to squirt some water out. Spit out all the water. And he's going to suck himself in. And that's what's going to protect him from predators. But very, very cool. What a beautiful shell. And you can see his track really well here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that on camera. It goes all the way up here. And he made this track cruising along the sand. And that's something fun too, is sometimes when you find a track, you can follow it all the way and find a shell at the end. So sometimes people follow follow a rainbow and find a pot of gold and you can follow a, a sand track and find a 
you guys see it right here you can you can follow a track and find a seashell <laughs> here's another one lots of live whelks big live whelks which is super fun hopefully they're all breeding and making little babies lots of birds around and let's see if we can get over to the golf side out here we're gonna walk all the way across the sandbar Ooh, look what we got here is this little sand dollar so Dickman's Point is known for sand dollars so if you come here you want to bring a nice little container some type of flat container look at that perfect sand dollar just beautiful it is perfect I'm gonna put this in my shell bag I don't know if it's gonna live because I didn't bring my flat container um, wasn't planning on picking up some sand dollars today but you want to come prepared if you want to pick up sand dollars because this is a great place to find sand dollars to add to your collection if you love sand dollars so if you come down here on vacation and you want to find sand dollars then take a shell tour to Dickman's Point call up Nautical Life say hey I'm on vacation I want to find some sand dollars and they will bring you out here to Dickman's and you will be able to stock up on your mermaid money oh look here's another one Ooh, this is a big one and these here these will bleach out just fine it's got a little algae it's kind of in the process of bleaching from the sun but don't worry those will bleach out real nice I mean this is the place for them look at this this is the place for sand dollars I always tell myself I'm not gonna pick up a bunch of sand dollars and then I come out here and I'm like I can't help it <laughs> It's like addicting. I mean, don't we all say that? We go to the beach, we're like, we're not going to pick up a ton of stuff. And then you just can't help it. We're getting to some dry area here. Another little sand dollar and it's perfect. Gosh, I just love them. There's another one. This is a really nice one. Look, it's perfectly bleached out. So when I put them in my shell bag, I always put them back to back like this. It gives them a little bit of stability. And if you have a flat container, I still layer them the same way. So I put them flat side down and then I flip them the other way. Oh my gosh, look at all the sand dollars, you guys. It's crazy. Wow, I just love them. But if you flip them and put them back to back and then kind of alternate them, it'll kind of offer them a little bit more stability and they won't rock and roll so much and, and hopefully most of them will make it back safely. So we're just going to continue on. We're going to cross the sandbar here. Well, I guess the whole thing is kind of a sandbar today. All right, so here we are. We're over by the golf side, and I'll turn around so you can see how far we've walked. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the Nautical Life Shell Tour boat that we disembarked from. And then we walked across the sandbar, and the tide is still going out. So I'm just going to kind of walk around and check out and see what kind of fun things um, are going to be in the water here lots of live shells which is awesome lots of lives whelks and we've had some starfish and what is this right here this could be a whelk it might not be a whelk oh it is a whelk is it alive it's not alive it is a keeper all right very nice size whelk too so i'm hoping we can find some fun treasures over here during this really treat of a low tide. There's some something buried right here. Is this a conch? Yeah, it's a conch right there. Sometimes you can't tell. You just see a little glimpse of color. Lots of birds down there. So we're going to head down. So hopefully you guys can see some fun birds and wildlife too. What is this right here? It's kind of a hole here and there's something down there. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's just a leaf. Okay. You never know. You got to always check. If you think you see something, always check because you never know if it could be a leaf or a shell or something else. But, and you guys can see um, the waves over there, but it's calm where we're at. Um, it is a little bit windy, so you can see the, you know, the wind is kind of blowing the top of the water. So hopefully the visibility um, will be okay for you guys. The visibility is actually very good, but because of the wind, it's making it a little bit tricky to see. So 
So here is the Gulf, and you can see there's just a little bit of waves, not too bad. Let's see what we have up here on the beach. Beautiful giant heart cockle. And here's another little sand dollar. They are just all over. Let's rinse them off here. Beautiful. And let's see what we can find in the water here. And it's perfect that the tide is already really low and it's still going out. This is such a super low tide. Here's a big whelk. Check this one out. Oh my gosh, look how huge this is. Wow. Holy cow. This is a great place to find those giant shells too. If you're into big horse kongs and big whelks, look at the size of that baby. Whoa, that's a big one. And here's another pretty beautiful bleached out sand dollar. Wow. I just love them. This is where to come for your mermaid money. And you can only get here by boat, guys. You can't, um, you can't just drive here. We're, we're way off the coast of Marco. So, shell tours, book, it's worth it. Oh, here's a really pretty, wonderfully patterned calico clam. I love picking those up we're going to come out. It's a little bit rough, but the water's really clear. So that's what I was telling you guys, you know, sometimes the water's calm, but the visibility is not great. And then other days like today, the visibility is great, but the water is not super calm, but hopefully we'll be able to see. Well, what is this? Is this a big horse conch? Oh, let's see. I'm going to get wet here. Let's see if I can get it with my foot. Oh, I think it's broken. It's okay. Let's get it anyway. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look how big. This is the place for some big, giant shells. And, you know, this is still a fun treasure. I mean, you could stick an air plant or a succulent in that, clean it up. It'll make a beautiful planter or just a cool treasure for your garden. I mean, look at those. Awesome, right? So fun. Let's see if we can find some more good stuff out here. Now, when you're looking for big shells like that, you've got to get out in the water. Um, it is a little bit rough, but you can still kind of see shadows of things. And hopefully as the tide goes out, it'll calm down just a little bit. But for now, you just want to kind of look for shadows. And you just kind of, they're not going to just be sitting on the beach. I mean, they might be, but they're probably not going to just be sitting there. You're going to have to go out into the water and you might just see a tip of the shell or you might kind of see a shadow or it might be partially buried or you might even feel it with your feet but keep your eyes open and here you can kind of see even with the waves you can kind of see the bottom and you can still see shadows of shells and seaweed and the further out you go sometimes the bigger the shells will be but I don't want to get too far out because I don't want to get soaking wet with my phone you guys know what happens with me and my phone and water it never ends up good so I don't mind getting wet but I do when I'm with my phone so we're just gonna walk along here and see what we can find and I'm gonna keep my eyes open and hopefully you guys are getting a good view of what I'm seeing and I know that sometimes you guys say that you can't always see really clearly on your end but just know that this is virtual shelling so I want you guys to see what I'm seeing so this is what you would be seeing if you were actually shelling with me, which you are from the comfort of your own home, which is why the virtual shelling network is so great. Okay, let me see what this is down here. Let me see what this is. Sometimes it's buried. Sometimes you got to dig. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, another big whelk. Giant one. And we're just going to set that back down. Somebody might want to find that later. But that's a big one. Super fun to put in your garden. Like I said, stick a plant in it. They're still super fun. But sometimes they are buried a little bit in the sand. And you got to work a little bit for them. And that's okay. 
and you might only just see like the tip of it, but sometimes it's good to just go out and if you see something, check it out because you never know. You never know if it's just going to be a broken piece or it might be a whole ginormous, perfect horse gunk. You just never know. It's always worth it to check. And we all love to find giant shells too. I mean, I love to find tinies, but I love to find giant shells too. They're so fun. You guys see all the little fish? I hope you guys can see them. The birds are like having a field day. All kinds of schools of fish. And and it kind of looks like there's a sandbar out there where the waves are breaking. I think it's just a little bit deep for me to go out. But the water is just so pretty and it's so nice and warm. That's one thing about the Gulf Coast here is our water is very warm compared to the East Coast. So if you like warm water, then the Gulf Coast is where you want to come, especially in the summertime. Our water is just beautiful. It's like bath water. It's also why we get hurricanes, but you know. Oh, there's a big old anchor or something here. I'm not really sure what that is. never know what you'll find out here walking around. Let's come down this way. And look at all the birds. Can you guys see them all hanging out? on the beach there. If you're a if you're a bird watcher, like if you enjoy looking at birds, make sure you bring binoculars with you because there are so many different species of birds and sometimes you'll find some uncommon species. You'll find those rosette spoonbills, which we love. We love to see those. They're pink. They're like pink like flamingos. They're so pretty. And it's just beautiful out here. So again, let me just recap. Shelling is all relative, right? You can come up here and you can pick up lots of shells. I mean, there are sand dollars and you can fill your shell bag with giant heart cockles and conks and scallops and all kinds of amazing shells. Look at this big giant heart cockle. Here's another one. Fighting conks. I mean, they're just all over. You can you can literally just pick up shells to your heart's content. And here's another sand dollar here. Some barnacles on there. But if you want to hunt those big game shells, sometimes you got to go out in the water and you got to just enjoy the water. And you got to forego these other shells and you might not fill your shell bag, but you might come back with a really big, awesome find. So you kind of just have to decide where you're going to shell and what kind of shelling you want to do. Um, you know, if you want to fill your shell bag and, and volume is what you're after, or if you're kind of after, oh, look at this little whelk. It is a pretty little whelk. So it just depends on, you know, what you're after um, and what kind of shelling you want to do. And for me, like when I'm at a place like this, I love to go and try to find shells that I normally don't get to find. So I will love to go out here and explore and mosey around the water. And it's not every day you get to be out in the middle of the water, knee deep. You know, all this is usually completely underwater. So we're out in the middle of the ocean. We're able to explore what's out here. I mean, we can shell on the beach any day, but when I have the opportunity to come out at a super low tide, I'm gonna take that opportunity and I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna explore and I'm gonna see, you know, maybe there's just live shells. Maybe I find nothing, but you know, I'm always gonna take the opportunity to explore a place that I usually can't get to. So hopefully you guys can, can still see. Um, hopefully it's not super windy. I mean, there's so many birds, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the pelicans, seagulls. There's some skimmers. I'm trying to see if there's any rosette spoonbills, but I don't see any. But it's just so, so beautiful out here. And you always kind of feel like you're the only one out here. Like, even though there's other shellers and there's other people on the tour, 
Um, and there's other tours sometimes out here too. Here's a little sandbar. You always kind of feel like you're all by yourself, you know? It's so cool and so fun. And here's another live whelk. So the big shells are out here. They're out here. It's just a matter of finding them and, and you know, trying to find ones that are empty and not occupied. So we're going to come up to this little sandbar, sandbar on the sandbar, and see what we've got up here. I already see some big, big live whelks. My goodness. Hopefully these are all breeding and making lots of babies. And so many of them. So this looks like a fun little place. Let's see. Oh, look at this, you guys. You see this? Does anybody know what it is? It is the trail of a live olive. And sometimes they start to get a little bit stuck because as the tide goes out, the sand starts to dry out and get a little bit hard. And can you guys see them moving through? I try to hold my camera real still and hopefully you guys can see them kind of cutting through the sand there. Yeah, we'll help them out a little bit, and you guys will be able to see them. So they're very, very cool. They're very, very slimy. And you always got to make sure when you're when you're checking olives that you're really looking because the animal doesn't have the same operculum that you would expect other shells to have. So the, the creature is very light colored, and you can see he'll start to come out. Kind of like a slug. Look how cool. And they kind of leave this um, slimy, uh, like slime on your hands too. So so after I put them down, I'll have this kind of slime on my hands. Very interesting. Very interesting creatures. Let's make sure we keep them wet there. We don't want them drying out. Live olives are just so cool. He's like, this is not sand. All right, we'll put him back in the water and let him, let him carry on. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's a slime, a slime, of little creatures. And now he is well on his way. He can go make a new little trail. I love seeing interesting creatures like that. And I can definitely tell you that sometimes shelling... Uh oh, is this somebody else that's stuck here? Sometimes you'll find little holes like this and oh, we'll help him out too. Oh, he's a big one. I'll tell you, sometimes these, uh, these live shells are just so gorgeous. They're big and they're shiny and they're dark and they're just absolutely stunning. Look at that. But he's alive. These guys are all getting stuck, stuck at the low tide. It's going to be a while before the tide comes in, so we'll we'll take them back to the water and give them a little reprieve. Look how pretty. They are ginormous, too. Look how pretty and dark and shiny. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous. But sometimes it's not about, you know, finding shells that you collect to take home. Sometimes shelling... It's like fishing. It's like finding that shell that you can take a picture of, that you can say you found, even if it's alive. So, you know, like some people fish, and even if they don't take the fish home and eat it, you know, right? They take a picture of it, and it's like a catch and release. And I'll show you guys real quick where we came from so you guys can see where we are. There's the boat, Nautical Life. And we came across the sandbar, and then around the sandbar, and... Now we're at the other little sandbar, and we're just going to walk out here and see what we see, and as the water gets darker, it gets deeper, so you can see it's very dark right here, so it's deeper, but we're going to enjoy the walk and see what we see and see what we find. And you can see where the waves are breaking at that little shallow area there. So it gets a little bit deep and then it gets a little bit shallow again. 
And I'm about knee deep right now, so it's not super deep. And the visibility is pretty good considering the wind. You can still see the, you know, the, the sand at the bottom. And I'm not seeing too much activity out here just yet. All right, you guys, I just came upon a sea urchin. I love them. Look how beautiful and big and perfect. Oh my God. So it's got a little shell up there. Sometimes they kind of hang onto shells for protection. And I'm going to try to hold real still so you guys can see all of his legs moving. Oh, how cool. Can you guys see them moving? He is moving on my hand. Oh my gosh, look how cool. Okay, so let me flip him over right in the middle. That's his little mouth right in the middle. And you can see all of his legs moving. It's so cool. And he is just beautiful. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh, there's something so therapeutic about watching a live urchin just moving their legs. No question he's alive. He is a moving. Very heavy. I just love sea urchins. He is just so gorgeous. So we're going to put him back and let him go on his merry way. And like I said, sometimes it's not about the shells you take home. That was awesome. It's about the really cool things that you can find and see and experience out here. You guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Do you see this? Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. If you can even... Oh my God, you guys. Okay. This, if you could even see, number one, how big this whelk is, okay? Number one, this whelk is ginormous. Number two, there is a ginormous crab inside of it. Okay, there's so much to see. Okay, look, this whelk is, like, so alive. The outside, we have sea pork. So the sea pork is adhered to the outside of the shell, which is amazing. And then on the inside of the shell, we have so many shells living a ton of slipper shells or Indian boats living on the inside of the shell so this shell is home to not only sea pork and other shells but also a crab so this shell might not actually be alive as a mollusk but it is so alive because it is home to all of these creatures this is like so amazing so let me try to Try to set him over here. I'd love to see if we can get him to come out and say hi. I mean, this this crab is huge. Oh, my gosh. I've never, ever seen a crab this big. This is amazing. Like, I don't want to get my hand too close because I'm going to tell you what. This this sucker is big. It is, this is a ginormous crab. And he matches my lip sense on my hand. Hmm. I want him to come out and say hi. But I definitely am not sticking my hand in there. Maybe if I... He is so heavy. Oh my gosh, I can barely lift him. Let me see if I put him in the water. Maybe he'll come out. Maybe he'll come out and... Please come out and say hi. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like... Oh, he's moving around. Please come out. Oh, I'd be so excited if we can see his cute little eyes. Will you come out, please? Please come out. Pretty please. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. Oh, I'm trying to get to where you guys can see. Can you guys see all of the bajillion slipper shells? Isn't that so cool? I mean, that is really cool. This is really cool. This whole shell is just amazing. What a treat. 
Come on, little crab. Will you please? I know if I stick my finger in there, he'll come out, but oh, no better. I'm not doing that. I've been pinched by crabs before. It's not fun. And that one is way too big. I'm sure his face is, like, insanely adorable. Maybe if I put a little shell there. Hey, will you come out, please? Will you come out? Hello. Hi, come on out. Come say hi. You're you're on the Virtual Shelly Network. Come say hello to all of our amazing members that would love to see your adorable face. All right, well, let's put him back in the water. Oh, there's a little hitchhiker crab. Do you guys see him? Right there, right below my thumb. Oh my gosh, please don't pinch me. So we're gonna put him back in the water. So all of the things that are living on this well can, uh, can stay in the water. I am just so impressed. That was really, really cool. Like, that was fabulous. We might come back and check on him later. Maybe he'll come out. They have the cutest faces. I would just love for him to be more social. But I understand why he's hiding. He didn't he didn't get to be that big and, and that old by, <laughs> by being social to strangers. So it's getting a little bit rough. I don't know if we had a tide change or um, or maybe it's just getting rough because it's getting later in the day. There's a pelican out there. Let's see if we have anything fun out here. I think it's getting a little bit too rough to see out here. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Oh, this is a different species. We've got a long spine sea urchin here. Look how beautiful this one is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Can you guys see his spines moving? Look how fun and how beautiful. Oh, he's gorgeous. Look at his big, long spine. So we do have different species of sea urchins down here. So the other one, we had little short spines. And this one, we have long spines. I just love sea urchins. I love them. Let me see if I can get this stuff off real quick. Maybe not. It's all kind of tangled, tangled on the spines. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get. Look how pretty, though. Oh, my gosh. Just beautiful. Such interesting creatures. What a treat to see two different species here. I mean, just to see all the amazing sea life here is just incredible. Let me see if I flip him over, if you'll be able to see his little mouth there. Oh, you can see it open. You see it opening and closing, his little mouth. Hmm, I think he's maybe trying to trying to eat that gooey stuff, maybe. I mean, he's trying to eat it. How cool is this? 
I don't know if this is like an egg casing of some sort. But he is definitely going to town trying to eat that. So we'll leave him uh, enjoy his dinner there. Very cool. Oh my gosh, what a cool, fun day. This is such an amazing, amazing trip with Nautical Life today here at Dickman's. So much sea life. So many cool shells. So many sand dollars. I love it. So fun. Here's an... I mean, you might not fill your shell bag, but again, you're going to fill your memories and your camera with some amazing amazing experiences look at this big giant heart cockle here oh my gosh look at that pattern it's gorgeous so fun and the sun's starting to set here a little bit You guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm having so much fun. Ooh, let's see if he's alive. Yep, he's gonna put right back in there. Let him go, go back. I hope that you guys are having fun. I hope this is exciting for you guys and, and giving you guys an experience to be able to. Uh, shell from the you know comfort of your own home maybe learn how to shell where to shell um, get some ideas of what to do when you come down to visit maybe to experience things you've never seen before maybe you've never seen a live sea urchin before maybe you didn't know hermit crabs could get that big <laughs> I certainly didn't um, I hope that when you come down uh, to Southwest Florida, you know, I hope that you do book a shell tour and you're able to come down here and I hope that you will know, um, you know, to come to Dickman's and you'll be prepared with a sand dollar, you know, container um, and you'll be able to get some of these awesome shells and find them yourself and take them home. Look how fun this little trail is right here, you guys. You see it? So it starts probably somewhere way back here. And it starts back here, and then you can follow it. And follow it until we get to the olive. <laughs> so fun. Look at that. Olive tracks. It's quite the little traveler there. I just love all these shells. Look at this giant heart cockle. This is so pretty. Oh, and look at this sand dollar. Another perfect sand dollar. Right next to it. Oh, look at this mussel shell. Holy moly, I've never seen one so bright red. Here's another sand dollar. Perfect. So I hope you guys are enjoying the virtual shelling network. I do have a referral program. And you can refer friends and earn shells. And it's super easy. Every time somebody signs up for the virtual shelling network, I always ask them who referred them. And if they give me your name, you will receive fun, free shells in the mail or extra shells in your beach treasure box. So if you love the Virtual Shelling Network and you're enjoying these videos, please share on social media. Share with your friends and family. I also always value feedback. I love hearing about what you think, what you love. So please let me know. Let me just check out up here before we go. You guys know what this means, right? All this black stuff that looks like coffee grounds. This is a great place for tinies. This is where I get down real low. And this is where I crouch down and find my teeny tinies. So if you're a tinies, this is where you look. All right, guys, we are heading back. Thank you so much for your support for being members of the Virtual Shelling Network. This was just such an amazing, fun evening with Nautical Life. We are heading back to the boat. And I will be sure to give you guys some footage of the beautiful sunset 
on the way home. So thank you again for your support. And I will see you again next time right here on the Virtual Shelly Network. Bye.